we're going to take a look or actually listen to what plugins really do to our sound in Ableton Live. You can use this technique in any DAW. You don't have to use Ableton Live for this. It's the same principle, whatever DAW you're using. So on a track here, I have a pad sound. That's a pad sound from a sample pack that I'm working on out sometime next year. What I'll start with, I'll load up a utility plugin on the channel. Then I duplicate the channel, just like that. Um, and now I get two pad sounds when I play. And that's not what I'm after. I'll take a look at the second channel, at the utility plugin, and I flip the phase of both sides of the signal. So what, I, what happens now when I play the sound? I get absolutely nothing, which is what's supposed to happen right now, because there's two sounds canceling each other out if they're absolutely, if, the, if there's no difference. So as I have two exactly similar signals on both channels, I get no sound. So let's see, if I load up a saturator on the channel and I'll play it, I'm actually hearing the difference between those two, two channels. So I know what it's actually doing to the signal. So uh, yeah, I'm hearing saturation, of course. What's also good to keep in mind is you will hear volume differences as well. So let's see, I go back to, I'll just turn off the saturator. So now they're similar again. If I raise the volume just by one decibel, you're going to hear that. So if you want to hear the actual difference, just in terms of processing, you have to turn the plugin to an equal level, even after the processing. So just to get a better picture of saturator, I, uh, I'll turn the output to zero and drive to zero. So I will hear very little. You might hear the very slight crackling in stereo. As I turn up the drive, I get a better picture. I'm trying to level out the volume difference here, so I'm only hearing the processing. Drive is at five decibels, and I turn the output down by five or six, whatever the drive amount is. So yeah, that's a good way to see what's happening. And just to uh, take another example, let me get something else, maybe Slate Digital uh, Tape Machines. I absolutely love this plugin. Let's take a listen. So you get some saturation and fluttering. So yeah, that's the basics. Just uh, have two channels, just to uh, go through this again. You have one channel, you duplicate it, you have to have the utility there, flip the phase of both sides, and then you get nothing. And then when you uh, add something, and you have to have it level matched, so then you hear the actual difference. So yeah, have fun. If you have any questions, just holler. Peace out.